The purpose of this video is to give you an overview of how to navigate the Lexus Advance platform. There will be supplemental videos that focus on how to search for cases, statutes, and other legal materials. The first thing you should notice about the Lexus Advance homepage when you log in is that there are three distinct areas of the homepage. The top navigation bar, the search box, and my workspace. We will look at each of these areas individually. The top navigation bar will appear on every page of Lexus Advance. The navigation bar has several useful features. The ones that you will deal with primarily in law school are My Workspace, which lets you access alerts, folders where you've saved searches and legal materials, and your search history. Settings allows you to edit your preferences and your Lexus Advance profile. Help provides you with the price guide, which will be useful in practice, live support, and the help screen, which provides information on using Lexus Advance. Law School Home is a quick link back to the Law School homepage. Finally, Sign Out will allow you to sign out of Lexus Advance. Let's next look at the My Workspace box. The My Workspace box lets you quickly access any alerts you have set up in Lexus Advance, Lexus Advance Support, My Folders, where any legal materials saved can be accessed for up to a year for free, and Search History, which saves your search history for up to 90 days for free. Now let's look at the Lexus Advance search box. The search box will appear on every page in Lexus Advance and it will be the primary function you will use to navigate and locate legal materials in the Lexus Advance research system. You can use the search box in three ways. First, you can locate legal materials by conducting searches using terms and connectors or legal citations. Second, you can browse for legal materials by topic or by sources. And finally, you can use the box to shepherdize legal materials using shepherds. Now let's explore each of these methods more in depth. We will first take a look at the search function. As stated earlier, you can use the search function to search by terms or by citation. To search by citation, simply enter your legal citation. In this instance, let's try to find the case 410 U.S. 113. Click Search and the case will appear. To return to the Lexus Advance homepage, simply click on Lexus Advance located to the left of the search box. To search by terms, you will first want to narrow the sources you are searching across. To narrow your search parameters, you can use the three drop-downs located under the search box. For example, let's say we want to find legal materials on diversity jurisdiction. The first drop-down allows users to select the type of content they want to search. The default will be to search across all content. Select a single or multiple types of content. If you select more than one, you have the option to display content from one type of source first by using the Start In function located at the bottom of the box. Once you have made your selections, click OK. The next drop down allows users to select the jurisdiction they want to search across. The default will be to search across all jurisdictions. Again, you can select a single or multiple jurisdictions to search across. Once you've made your selections, click OK. The final drop-down allows users to select a practice area or topic. The default will be all practice areas and topics. You can select a single or multiple practice areas and topics. Once you've made your selection, click OK. Now that we have restricted the sources we are searching across, let's then input our search terms. You can input your search terms by using terms and connectors or natural language. If you have trouble determining what terms you want to use or how to build the terms and connectors, click on search tips located to the right of, of the search button. Once you enter your terms, click search and your results will appear. The first thing to point out is the content types listed across the top of the screen. If you click on Snapshot, this will give a quick view of all the content types that pertain to your search terms. You can also click on each content type to access only that content. 
Each of these content pages are similar in layout. The total number of results for each content page will be listed in red on the left side. Users can sort their results by different criteria using the sort function on the right side of the screen. Because some lists of results are rather long, you can flip to the next page of results by clicking on the arrows at the top of the results page. Users can use the functions on the left side of the screen to narrow their results. If you want to search for additional terms within the results, enter your terms in the Search Within Results box and click OK. The number of results for each filter is noted by a number located beside the filter. You can expand the filters by clicking on the down arrow To enter a document, you would click on the document title. To browse for topics, click on Browse Topics located above the search box. The list that appears are all of the topics in Lexis Advance. You can browse the alphabetical list for a topic or search for topics. Most of the topics that you click on will consist of several subtopics. To expand a subtopic, click on the arrow located next to it. At any point, you can click on a subtopic and have the option to either view all of the documents, attach the topic to your search, or save the topic as one of your favorites. To browse for sources, you would first click on Browse Sources located above the search box. From this screen, you have a couple of options. The narrow by function on the left side of the screen will enable you to search for sources by name or keyword and limit sources by content type and jurisdiction. The right column will show your results if you have selected any filters and allow you to browse through those resources. The right column defaults to all sources. Once you find a source, you can click on it and you will be presented with a couple of options. You can either click on view all information for this source, which will provide you with source content descriptions of the source, and the coverage. Add this source to your search, which will allow you to run a search across only that source, or save this source as a favorite. The last thing to point out about Lexis Advance are your research tabs. The tabs function as a means of organizing your research and allowing you to go back and view previous searches and research while you are still logged in. That is it for your overview of how to navigate the Lexis Advance platform.